Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Loot Crate here on Pastiche of Skin. How are you doing today? We are checking out the new June Month Crate for Loot Crate, so let's take a look what's inside. Ooh, like the look of this. Grabbing the t-shirt, of course, and we're going out to the wide. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? It's nice to see you guys again. Thank you very much for coming back to Pastiche of Skin to check out Dystopia, the futuristic horribleness that is actually planned for us all since the 1980s. You notice that 1980s was really a dystopia time. Most of the reason why, uh, because everything was a little bit shit and we we're all worried about things going horribly wrong and nobody had money and there was a possibility of a recession -y kind of thing going on and well, you know what, not much has really has changed, has it? Huh. Woo! Brexit! So, um, yeah. First thing we have, really obviously, easy to see, it is. Oh! <laughs> My fault for dropping that down. Robocop! Alex Murphy as Robocop. In the original Robocop, not that terrible remake one that came out a couple of years ago. This is the original Metal Badass. This looks really, really nice. It's a really nice print on grey with a great backdrop. <laughs> and the larger than life Robocop on it. I've actually seen the um, the Robocop uniform, the, the outfit, the costume uh, in person. And it is... It is huge, man. Like, I, I, me standing next to it, and I'm not a small guy, but me standing next to it going like, huh. Uh, I, could, I could just see him walking on set and everybody's going like, do it. <laughs> Without the sound effects of the As he was walking around, it just like, people even just on the set, <laughs> Peter Weller would have been fucking impressive looking. So yeah, uh, this is a really good shirt. Uh, material, the thickness is actually good. The stitching is really, really nice. It's a uh, summer weight. Cotton with um, in grey with the color print being um, shades of greys and blues and a wee bit of red. I really like this. This is a really nice shirt. This is um, definitely going into my rotation as soon as possible. Like I, I will wear this day in day out. This is a nice, nice shirt. And Robocop, absolutely exactly what we want for dystopia. Detroit in that movie is what Detroit is like now. Um, yeah, it, it, I, I, that's probably a bit of a rude thing to say. But the Detroit as in like the, the disillusionment or disillusionment and the disillusionment of the city kind of like matches up with um, the decline of the Motor City and that's kind of, wow. This, the, whenever they remade this, they kind of messed it up, but well, it wasn't too bad either. It's, it was passable. I mean, the only thing I like about that movie is this, uh, um, the one scene where they're in the warehouse where it's playing Hocus Pocus by Focus. What he's shooting down droids, and that, that was very well done. That was actually one of the, oh, that was entertaining as hell. Obviously, didn't make up for the fact that it was uh, flawed in many other ways. So into the crate again we go. Right, obviously going to grab something that's actually a bit big. We've got a Fallout Dorbs. Oh, look at the dorbiness. Let's get this out in the wide as well. Let's take a look properly. Fallout collectible figure of Brotherhood of Steel, as far as I can see. I mean, I probably wouldn't mind it a Vault Dweller, the Lady Vault Dweller. I actually would have been really cool with. Or even a um, super mutant, but the power armor is pretty nice as well. So let's get this door out of here. Uh, we get the door out of here. Right, open it up from the bottom. Let's slide this bad boy out. So dwarves are um, vinyl figures. Of <laughs> it slips out of the hand because it's actually too easy to carry around. Right, the dwarves actually have these really bizarre little kind of like rounded bodies and spheroid heads. Um, the only dwarf figure I've ever seen beforehand, uh, with, well, I've had my hand, is a uh, Wonder Woman dwarf that I bought for my girlfriend a while back. It was so cute. It was, it was wonderfully detailed. I like the work that they've put into this because unlike a vinyl pop figure that's um, from Funko, they don't have that kind of like, it's just details drawn in. This is a nice little kill on bits, lamps, neck breathers, gun in hand. This is actually a really nice little figure. All right, so where is our dwarf going to go in the big wall of bits and pieces? I think he will sit next to the predators and all for the moment. But we are really going to need to start <laughs> figuring out what to do with the shelves because they are starting to stack up a wee bit. We might have to move those across to another set. Ooh, well, I think that would be a good choice to make considering the fact that we've got a lot of other stuff coming up for you on the channel other than unboxings and video game coverage. It's all good and go here. You're going to know. You're going to see a lot of it coming up soon. Um, that's the reason why it's it's kind of exciting times here at Pastiche of Skin. You're going to going to get to see some cool stuff that um, I've been meaning to do for a long time. Just 
the focus hasn't been there or the support, <laughs> which is really nice to see. You guys have actually been showing up in, 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 in your dozens, not in your hundreds, but in your dozens. <laughs> To actually kind of like check out stuff and I'm really really happy to see that. So what else we got in here in the crit? What is this? A matrix item? Matrix puzzle box? Oh, oh, right. So it's just a matrix uh, jigsaw puzzle. I am, I'm not opening this and spreading it out all before, but I like the design. It essentially is the, um, the final battle uh, city, the kind of the, the way the city looked at the end of the final battle of the third movie, but with um, what looks to be Morpheus, yeah, Morpheus, Neo and Trinity. All at the bottom of it. So yeah, uh, Matrix, Dystopia, it fits. Um, I, I don't know. It, it, <laughs> Matrix isn't really um, something that I, I'd be surprised if a lot of kids knew about the Matrix. Now, have you seen the kids? Have you seen the Matrix? Do you know who the Wachowskis are? Yeah, yeah, the the two girls. Yeah, them. <laughs> do, do you know anything about the stuff they made? Have you seen this movie? It was a classic. It's the he's it was literally the moment whenever Keanu Reeves learned how to just say whoa to reality itself. Okay, so what else is in here? Ooh, okay. Ah, that is actually not very safe. Wow. Okay. Uh, metal plate T2 face. Um, after I, I just feel that the edges are actually very very rough. Um, yeah. So metal plate embossed with the uh, T2 face, which looks really really nice. But after um, last month's uh, unsafe object, yeah, I wouldn't. After last month's unsafe object with the um, the oven mitt that had to be recoil recalled, and um, the issue with the bleeding item that was inside the loot gaming crate, this is surprising to have. It's nice. It's cool. I, I like a T2. Um, I actually have a T2 skull from a previous crate sitting up there in the far left of the room if you can see but um yeah this is a cool metal plate kind of like standy thing it'll look really really nice in a spot on the shelf but it is very very sharp on the edges and very very beveled um i would be surprised somebody cut themselves on that and then there's going to be a complaint but and it didn't cut me but i'm, I'm sure somebody will do something uh, complain about that arnie in the most recent uh, terminator movie i genesis didn't say catch my attention all that much it was it was a remake redo to kind of like reset the timelines for the movies huh. I mean I, I was happy enough with um, the first two movies the third one being dodgy the fourth one being a different take and a different thing they were going to do this fifth one explosions <laughs> that's, that's all it's explosions why would you complain about it it's just explosions and Arnie being explosive and um, yeah, robots. Woo. Okay, what else we got inside the crate this month? We have a loot pin. Of course, it is of Fallout. It's the nuke from Fallout, the mini nukes, which are <laughs> unbelievably destructive, especially if you shoot them up with Brahmin's ass and uh, decide to make a fight out of it. So, what else have we got in here? We have. Oh, a Bioshock key. I like that. So, it's a blank key. That's awesome. I, I might actually get that cut. I might get that for someone that I, I actually like. Do you need the keys for him? That's that's actually a good choice. I'm very impressed with that. Hmm. And on to the last thing of the crit. Is it the last thing? Yeah, yeah. Of course, our loot crit magazine for the month. What have we got? Welcome to Dystopia. That's very nice of them. Uh, welcome, little guy. So things from Fallout, uh, objects, and figure. Uh, quick look at the inside of Robocop. T2, the future is not set. Of course, we can change that. Matrix puzzle. Uh, the, oh, yes, the yeah, body shot infinite key. So it's actually the. It's a cage on one side and the free bird on the other. An uh, introduction to the Halo Legendary Crate, which uh, we will be doing here on the channel. We just got details about it. Uh, it will be coming out bi monthly. So you get one of those every two months, kind of like our. Um, kind of like our Firefly crate. So we'll literally be just kind of doing other stuff of it. Uh, we'll be getting another stuff. It's kind of separate from the gaming crate. It'll be Halo only collectibles. So I'm curious to find out what they're going to really push on. Thing is, it's 343 Interactive. I'm not too sure that they've really kind of like, I don't know, they merchandised the, the Halo series quite as well as Bungie did back in the day. So the DLC for loot pins is wallpaper and ringtones from Fallout Shelter. If you've been a fan of Fallout Shelter since it came out, like you're one of the 50 million people who actually played it or played it during that time before Fallout 4 came out, 
yeah, you can still play it. There's more stuff. They keep on adding things to it the entire time. Now we've also got stuff like the psychology of dystopia. Yes, uh, so why why we enjoy it so much? Four types of dystopia: post disasters, class warfare, tech gone wrong, photopia. Oh yes, we got all the things and ways to dress for it, of course, in your post-apocalyptic world. I.e., all the dress code from Max Headroom that was originally on the channel for shows and feature looters, and of course, what was inside the mega crate. Hmm. I'm annoyed that I didn't win this one again. I wish I had. So obviously, there was the Terminator anthology, the first four movies, and the Sarah Connor Chronicles. A Bioshock Skyhook prop, which I've seen at cons for cosplayers. A vault sub-pack, which is nice, pretty cool bag. That'd be pretty, that'd be pretty cool for just carrying around a drinking. Uh, we have a Robocop mechanical chair, one to one six figure steel koi. That looks pretty badass, actually. That would have been really nice to have. And a Matrix and Star custom PC case from Razor. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Including bonus graphics card and motherboard, so no RAM and no sticks or anything else, but I could have actually really rebuilt my PC with that. That would be nice. And then the Mega Mini Crates were a collected edition, the Matrix Complete Trilogy, uh, or a new Cola Etch beer mug. So, yeah guys, that was the Crate for Dystopia. I mean, I'm just going to have to turn around and put this over around to face me. Hi, how's it going? We had another issue with the camera again, the footage just failed miserably on me, so we had to cut to this one for the entire time. So I want to say thank you very much for coming to Patsy Jeff to check out the Dystopia Crate. We'll make sure I actually add a little clip at the end so you can see the um, the crate's content or the crate's shape whenever it's actually folded into its like display version. It'll just be an extra bit that'll be just uh, in the side of the bar of it while I was chatting about some one of the other ones. But um, otherwise, I'm just going to have to sign off here and say come back again. We will have many more crates this week. We have a lot of stuff to catch up on. I will have them to you as soon as possible. Just the fact that time, time runs away from us. We can never catch up. I love you guys. I hope you love me. And I hope you come back again to Passy Skin any other time to check out the boxings, check out the games, and check out all the new stuff that's going to be out soon. So until then, bye bye. <laughs>